Hi, let's talk about Delta G, gives free energy. Notice I just wrote free energy. You'll hear me use the word give. It's just giving honor to the scientist that was um, a part of discovering it. Uh, here we have it, really two basic things. We have negative Delta G and positive Delta G. Negative Delta G, that indicates whenever you have a negative value on gives free energy, on free energies, means it's spontaneous. Another term for this is thermodynamically favorable. Those are the same thing. This is an older term. AP has now moved to this, and you're seeing some textbooks move to that term, thermodynamically favorable. Um, it means, here's the heart of it. Energy is available to do work. Ah, we love that. As engineers, as chemists, scientists, anything that produces energy, has energy available to do work. Now, we'll jump in, harvest that, use it, exploit it, right? Usually to make money. Um, most of the time, let's just say we're trying to help mankind, okay? <laughs> I'll be generous. Um, but energy available to do work, we love that. So we love negative delta G. Um, it's product favored, uh, and that means K is less than one. I have a video that relates delta G and K. If you haven't seen that, check it out under the entropy and, enthal and free energy playlist. And there's a technical word for this, it's uh, exergonic. So think of negative delta H is endothermic. That is spontaneous. Well, I could say exergonic, and that would pull up in your mind, oh, negative delta G, energy available to do work. So it's just a, a term to describe energy available to do work and negative delta G. Okay, positive delta G, opposite, non-spontaneous. Okay, when the value is greater than one, it's not spontaneous. Um, thermodynamically unfavorable, just another way to say non-spontaneous of movement that I'm seeing in some of the textbooks. Um, it requires energy to do work, okay? So now if I want something to do work, I have to put energy into it. It's going to cost me something. Don't like that as much. Um, reactant favored, which means K less than one. And then the term for this would be endergonic, just like positive delta H is endothermic, and that is um, non-spontaneous. Positive delta G is called endergonic, okay? Now, I want to give you some examples because I teach AP Chemistry. Um, they took time to put ink to paper. I'm going to give it to you. Um, and if you're in a college level class, this could be an, be an example that a professor would use. Um, so the external sources of energy um, that are required, I want to give you some examples. And really, this is just from AP. Um, so examples where we have a positive delta G, but we've, um, we've got to put energy into that to force it to do work, and it's worth, our, it's worth the cost. It's worth it to us to do that. Charging a battery, that is going to be endergonic. Um, or electrolysis, this is going to be like plating a metal. Um, photoionization of an atom, this is when an atom absorbs a photon to eject an electron. You can see my uh, room is illuminated. That's what's happening right now. Electricity, energy, that current, um, puts energy into the photon um, so that it can jump to a higher energy level and go back down to ground state. So photoionization, this would be actually ejecting the electron actually out of the, um, the atom's energy level. Photosynthesis, this is huge. Um, it's initiated by the absorption of a photon and that photon is typically in the 400 to 700 nanometer wavelength range. Um, there are some couple reactions where when it, uh, these reactions come together, the overall delta G is less than zero, um, but it uh, has a common intermediate. There's a common intermediate. Now a couple more details, just overall, you know, this is an overview for delta G. The unit for delta G is kilojoules per mole. And when you have that little knot right up there, that indicates standard conditions. Um, standard conditions for thermodynamics is going to be 25 degrees C, one ATM. And if you have a gas, it's one bar. All right, so there you have it, the overview. If you have more questions on free energy, take a look again at the Entropy Free Energy playlist. Have a wonderful day. I'm so proud of you. Thank you.